FOMO Also known as fear of missing out You might have heard about it Wargaming have become extremely good at taking advantage of this psychological warfare strategy when introducing new content into World of Tanks As the name might suggest, this method is designed to make the consumer, also known as you players, feel the fear of potentially missing out on something new fun and exciting. We have seen this many times already, like in the black market, under the hammer, the loot boxes, game events or just straight up limited offers in the premium shop. This is nothing new though, many gaming companies are applying this strategy on a daily basis. The idea is simply to release something new or exclusive under a limited time or in limited numbers, usually artificial numbers, because they could just as well release these new features in unlimited numbers since they are digitally based. But they decide to go the FOMO route because it's more profitable. We understand why Wargaming is doing this. It's a simple strategy that has proven to give great financial results. That doesn't mean that we like the idea in World of Tanks. What is Wargaming trying to sell you this time then? Well, if you haven't seen the footage, the tank in question is the Lion, an Italian tier 10 auto reloading medium tank. That is classified as a reward tank, which basically means that it does not make extra credits or experience, as far as we know. It does make bond, however, like a normal tier 10 tank, and you can transfer your crew to it as if it was a premium, so you can use your Progetto 65 crew for example, but it does not make extra experience or credits. This tank is pretty similar to the tier 10 Leopard, but with an auto reloader with with four shells. The tank will be sold in a similar way to the Object 780. If you buy it early enough, you will receive a special style with a number on it. And the number represents how quick you were at throwing money at Wargaming. <coughs> You should wear this number in shame. This number that will appear on your style is on top of the tank itself being sold in limited numbers a step further in this FOMO strategy. They want you to feel the urge to buy the tank as quickly as possible to not miss out on getting a cool number. <laughs> Wargaming don't want you to form an opinion about the tank before you go out and buy it. They want you to pay up immediately without second thought. However, unlike the last time with the 780, here is a list provided by Wargaming that shows you how much resources you need to spend in order to get it. You can mix different resources like with the 780, but for example, if you want to pay full gold, just like with your ammo setup, Lemao, you need to spend 55,000 gold in order to get this tank. For comparison, that would be like going to the tech tree and buy the tier 8 premium heavy tank the german one the Lerwe, which is considered to be one of the most expensive tanks in the game five times and on top of that the tank will cost just as much even if you buy it with or without the 3d style which again increases the fomo factor because most people obviously want it with the special style from our first impressions of this tank performance wise it seems pretty good but not too good which we much rather have than wargaming selling overpowered premium tanks of course but we would have preferred if anyone could buy or grind this tank without feeling forced the moment the event goes live if you miss out on buying it this time you will probably have to wait for a very long time or maybe even never have a chance of getting it for example the object 780 was sold in summer 2022 and so far there have been zero indications from wargaming to sell it anytime soon again this tank is more or less a leopard that had a baby with a progetto 65 you may come to your own conclusion that the tank seems way better than the progetto 65 simply because of the higher alpha damage but from our short and painful testing of this tank, we quickly noticed that the long aim time combined with the intra clip of four and a half seconds held the tank back a lot. Actually feels pretty similar to the Karo 45T, but without the armor. The gun mantlet can take some hits, but in our games trying out the tank, we didn't manage to bounce a single shell on our tank. Something funny about this tank though, is that the first shell takes a very long time to reload, while the second shell is the fastest out of the four. Interesting mechanic. Almost as if Wargaming rolled a dice to decide the reload of each shell. This means that if you want to use the maximum DPM, we're also known as, you know, going single shot mode, you need to fire the second shell of the clip. Not the first, not the last, the second. Le Mans. So is this tank worth it? For 55,000 gold? Oh hell no! Are you missing out on something if you don't buy the tank? Oh hell no! Please, 
This community is pretty fed up with these low effort money grab events. Fear of missing out is a very toxic way of monetizing your game. Make a good game instead, so people actually want to spend money on your good game. Here's a small list of things you could improve. Thank you very much for watching. Have a very good day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a little comment in the comment section. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.